In this gorgeous vessel bag, there's some brand new Ping Blueprint S irons. They're really interesting looking. If someone had said, guess what brand these are from, I wouldn't have said Ping. I would have gravitated towards TaylorMade. They look very much more like TaylorMade Callaway-esque. Now this set of irons from four iron to pitching wedge is 1,300 pounds. They're forged. They've got a very much pro preferred look. And in this video, I'm gonna hit the seven iron, four iron and pitching wedge and give you my honest review of these irons. Now I've had ping irons in the past. I love ping irons, I really do. Um, but these are just a very different look for ping. I'm, I'm liking it. I'm not, I'm not against it one bit. Um, what's interesting with this set, the three, four and five iron have a forged pocket to save weight and to increase the moment of inertia, uh, where obviously six iron down to pitch and do not have that. So loft wise on these irons, they're not super strong. Uh, 33 degrees of loft for the seven iron, uh, 45 degrees of loft for the pitching wedge. Um, very much kind of in that, again, that player category. I'm gonna hit some shots, I'm, I'm excited, I'm intrigued. Uh, obviously Ping have made great irons for years and years and years. They often have a very um, similar feel across the board of irons. I've got other Ping irons to review as well, which will be coming to the hit channel very soon. Um, but Blueprint S, just nice, just a nice looking set of irons, let's be honest, aren't they? They're just a nice looking set of irons. Look good behind the ball as well, to be honest. Look at, look slimmer behind the ball than they do up here. And again, going back to that kind of pro preferred look, they've done a very, very clever job of making the iron look smaller behind the golf ball. You're right, <clears throat> enough talking, let's get here in. Blue, pink, blueprint S irons. Let's see how they fly and how they feel. Great feel off the face. It's actually going a bit longer. I might, might just because I pulled it, I might just move the green back another 10 yards. First hit, I'm going to slightly tweak my remark I made just moments ago that all pink irons feel quite similar. Certainly the better player irons. That felt different. That felt very different in a good way. Flight solid as well. Right, I'm gonna hit a bunch of these clubs. I'm gonna hit seven, four and pitching wedge and then give, give you my full in-depth analysis. So far, so good. The feel is, oof, very nice. Almost, almost. So as you can see there, the average carry distance I was getting was 172 yards. Perfect for that loft. Really good flight, very good spin rate, good ball speed. To be honest, I was actually finding it very easy to hit. I thinned one and it still found the green comfortably. Very good with the sevens. Let's move on to the pitching wedge next. Pitching wedge numbers good as well, 137 yards carry, solid spin rate, nearly 9,000 RPM. I did have an unquestionable uh, first shot, which we've not used for the data, obviously. That was just a warm-up shot. On to the four iron, coming up next. And the four iron did not disappoint. Check out this shot where I almost held it. Very really flushed.
Average carry distance, 212 yards. Spin rate, very impressive for a four iron, 4,300. And really good ball speed as well. <laughs> I still want it to make a good shot as well then. Overall, I'm a big fan of these irons. I am, I've just put some new irons in the bag, but if I hadn't, these could easily go in there. I think they look great, look great behind the golf ball. They're not gonna be your most forgiving set of irons, the ping. You know, if you're looking for more forgiveness, there's different models, but certainly that four iron felt easy to hit. Maybe that's that extra pocket here at the back. Beautiful set of irons, no question, and uh, definitely get the stamp of approval from me.